what is up everybody i am back with another deck profile and this one is a nice one i really like this one we have this week malamar rapid strike let's get right into the deck list profile starting off the deck list we have malamar from chilling rain this is the main attacker and really the only attacker with the attack rapid strike tentacles reveal any number of rapid strike cards from your hand this attack does 40 damage for each card you revealed in this way then shuffle those cards into your deck we play a boatload and i mean a boatload of rapid strike cards as you will see later on in this deck list to attack with we play four copies as this is our main attacker since our opponent is only taking one prize when they knock us out they need to knock out six pokemon to win the game and we can just up trade very quickly we also play some recovery so we can get back two of these cards to play basically six which once your opponent knocks out all six they win the game so we have the nice four copies following up malamar we have inke basically you need to evolve malamar from something so we are choosing NK again. We are playing four copies as there's no real reason why you would play any less. Next up, we have an Inteleon, quick shooting. We will use this mainly and only really for the ability, but you can use this to attack. This does, the ability reads, once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. This does help out the math a little bit. It is also another rapid strike card, so we can use this for damage. And if we get a few turns of quick shooting off usually we can get away with one or two less rapid strike cards to hit the knockout we're only playing one copy as we don't really need it but in some matchups we would like it so we're sticking with the one copy we are also playing inteleon shady dealings when you play this pokemon from your hand to evolve you may search your deck for two trainer cards put them in your hand and shuffle your deck very good card especially late game you can evolve this get two scoop up nets scoop up an Octillery, this, and then that's an extra, because it, it has to evolve from a Sobble, and we do play the Rapid Strike Sobble, so you effectively get another 120 damage, which is not bad, not bad. Following up the Inteleons, we are playing Drizzile, Shady Dealings. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. We are playing three copies. It's basically a baby Shady Dealings Inteleon. Most times when you see the Inteleon engine, it plays four. But in this list, we only play three. And I really do like the three copies. I don't think you need a fourth. Following up Drizzile, we have Sobble. And obviously, we're playing the Rapid Strike Sobble as we can use this as damage with Malamar. But this is also a good attacker not to do damage but we like to use Keep Calling. We like, with this deck, you wanna go second on your first turn and you wanna use Keep Calling so you can get your bench filled up with the Rapid Strike Pokemon you need. And we have four copies of this card. I don't know why you would play any less. Four copies is definitely the way to go. Next up, we are playing Octillery, another Rapid Strike style card. With the ability, we use this for the ability never to attack as the attack is very costly and doesn't do a lot of damage. The ability reads, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a rapid strike card, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck. You can't use more than one rapid strike search ability each turn. Basically, once you Cynthia's ambition, sometimes you're missing an energy, sometimes you're missing Malamore. This gets the missing piece. It's very good. You only want one of these on your bench uh, per game and we were playing two copies just in case we can't find it and this gives us better odds at finding it even though we have lots of search and it also helps us in case we prize one copy following up the octillery we are playing remorade another rapid strike card we are playing two play two copies of octillery two copies of remorade i don't think i would go up to three i have seen some lists play three but i am a, personally a fan of the two copies Starting off our trainers, we are playing Tower of Waters. We only play one copy. It is a Rapid Strike style card, so we can use it as damage. The ability of this, well, the effect of this card is the retreat cost of each Rapid Strike Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents, is a color is two colorless less. So basically, all our Rapid Strike Pokemon have two retreat costs or less, excluding Malamar. 
But if Malamore is in the active, that's where we want it, so it doesn't really matter. And again, only one copy of this card. Starting off our supporters, we are playing Cynthia's Ambition. Draw cards until you have five in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn, draw cards until you have eight instead. This card is absolutely broken in this list, and we are playing four as ideally we would want to get this card every turn after our opponents took in a knockout. Next supporter we play is Brawly, another Rapid Strike style card. The effect of this card is search your deck for up to three basic Rapid Strike Pokemon and put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. Basically, if it's if we can't Sobble in the early games, in the early turns, we want to Brawly instead. We are playing four copies as after the first turn, when you don't need this card, you can just use it as damage fodder with Malamar. Next up, we play Karina's Focus, another Rapid Strike card. Draw cards until you have six in your hand. It reminds me of the old Lily from Sun and Moon Base and Ultra Prism. We are playing four copies. We can search this out with Octillery if we need some draw, and also it's more damage with Malamar's attack. Starting off our items, we have Fog Crystal. Search your deck for a Psychic Energy card or a basic Psychic Pokemon. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. This searches out our Inkays, also the two Psychic Energies that we do play. Very good card early game and in the light game when you need your few pieces. We are playing four copies and I don't think I would go under four. Next up, we have Level Ball. Search your deck for a Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. This searches out Inkay, Sobble, Drizzile, and Remoraid. Very good card as we need that. I like to level ball for a Drizzile to get a Cynthia's Ambition after our opponents knocked out a Pokemon. And we are playing four copies. It searches out literally half our deck for of Pokemon wise. Why would we not play four copies? Next up for items, one of my favorite items in this list, it's Scoop Up Net. Put one of your Pokemon that isn't a V or GX into your hand, discard all attached cards. Basically, the last turn of our game, if our opponent has a V Max Me active, we can scoop up our whole board or bench and do a ton of damage. We are playing four copies. I really like the four copies in this list. Next up, we have Evolution Incense. Search your deck for an Evolution Pokemon, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. This searches out Malamar, Octillery, Drizzile, and both Inteleons. Very good card. We are playing four copies as. This can get a lot of cards. We don't have to discard anything to use the effect. So we are staying with the four copies. Next up, we have a card you don't see too often and that is Rescue Carrier. Put up to two Pokemon, each with 90 HP or less from your discard pile into your hand. This is really good at the late game when you just have two of these in hand and you wanna do damage and you have a lot of basic poke or 90 HP or less Pokemon in your discard pile, you can essentially play this and it becomes a plus two rapid strike because you're going to target the rapid strikes, obviously. And that becomes 80 damage. We are playing two copies and I really do like this card in the list. Next up, we are playing Escape Rope. Each player switches their active Pokemon with one of their bench Pokemon. Your opponent switches first. So it's basically a double switch. You can pick what Pokemon your opponent brings up, but sometimes your opponent leaves a three prize V Max in the active. You have two prizes left, and you just want to hit anything else on the bench but the V Max in the active. You can play this, and it's basically kind of like a boss's orders per turn. We're only playing one copy of this card. And the final item in this list is Ordinary Rod. Choose one or both. Shuffle up to two Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Shuffle up to two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. Very good. And getting our Malamars back as we can rescue Carrier for the Inkays. And we do play two basic Psychics, so this can get that back. Helps in the Duraludon matchup where their ability says we can't damage them with our special energies. Only playing one copy, and I do like the one copy. I don't think I would go up to two. I think this is a perfect amount to play. Starting off the energies, we play Spiral Energy, a Rapid Strike card. This card can only be attached to a Rapid Strike Pokemon if this card is attached to anything other than a Rapid Strike Pokemon. Discard this card. 
and the effect of this card is as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides every type of energy, but only one at a time. So it provides our psychic energy with Malamar. The Pokemon this card is attached to can't be paralyzed, and if it's already paralyzed, it recovers from that special condition. There's not a lot of paralysis going on in the format. It's basically just an energy that we can attack with and also put back in our deck when we want to do damage. We are playing four copies of this card. The last card we play is Basic Psychic Energy, and we only play two. This is searchable with Fog Crystal. It's also, we can only play two, but we technically have four since we can grab both of these back with Ordinary Rod. Very good. I've never wanted more Basic Psychic, and I think the two is a perfect fit. And that is the deck profile. What did you think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Will you be playing this list? Have you played this list? I'd like to hear your feedback in the comments below as well. Here's a picture of the list laid out if you just want to see a nice visual picture of it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check the description for links to where I buy Pokemon cards. And I'll see you in the next video.